So here we are. Let's go for this QR code generator, uh, the Infix OM generator. The whole of this tab is on our log uh, app dot blade inside layout. So if we come to resources, views, layouts, that's where it is app dot blade. So we're gonna search for that name and see Control F Infix That's it. So we're gonna call this QR code. QR code generator and then we head straight to the login page let's go and refresh just to be sure that it has changed here reload and that's beautiful QR code generator we head straight for the login page let me open it here while it's opening we go to use auth the login page is inside auth look at it login so it's saying um, if you um, so we'll call it QR code QR code and um, we'll look for this QR code and um, is there any other thing I doubt so the checkbox okay I thought there is any other thing so we'll refresh so we're gonna change this from sign in to start session to just sign in to start session. So at the top of the form here, just sign in. Beautiful. And um, what else? Forgot my forgot password. We change this to forgot password and um, sign up. Simple. Instead of all the message, forgot password. Um, it's usually a question. Then uh, register sign up. Okay, so um, what else are we working on? We we'll look for the forgot password page. So let's refresh this and see whether it worked well. Perfect. So we'll go for the forgot password page, and um, as you can see, it's um, look at it password password reset. So it's gonna be a QR code generator. QR code generator. I'm gonna copy this. Then, as we scroll down, we see these reset password QR code generator. Um, I think that's it. So, if we refresh, really? So, we're gonna come here, Control F. Um, Control F in fee O M in fee. I think we sorted it out for this page if I remove. Uh, why is this still here? Am I working on the wrong page? Reset. Alright, so let's check on this one. We'll see the same thing. The same thing change and I think this sorts it out so if we refresh here now problem solved so we can head back to login so final step is to go to sign up page and change this so to, the sign up is inside auth and you, you can already see it here register we change this go back change this if we reload it's gone so um I already have a membership instead of all I already have a membership we can say sign in uh down there we're gonna see it I agree I already have a membership um sign in Sign in. So that sorts it out. I believe if we refresh one more time. So one more thing we can do is to make sure that the person cannot submit this form without filling this field. Uh, if I click on this, the form attempts to submit um, which shouldn't be. So let's work on this guy. Um, so this is it. 
the checkbox you see i agree cool um what we can do is to make it require beautiful then of course if you had your terms and conditions you can link to it from here but um, at least from what we have we can no longer submit this form without um, you see it's telling you you must check this box if possible then i think we should do that for the email too just to make sure people don't just come to test our site by just submitting form and waste our server resources so on the email look at the input for the email i'm gonna just add required anyway and that's it you can just submit without entering an email all right so thank you very much um works well i think we've cleaned up all the tiny little things we can now head straight to the payments all right so go and sign in and um, of course see you in the next video